Sorting through estates, you'll never know what you'll find. Someone's treasure doesn't make it your treasure. Someone's junk might be a treasure to you. Patiently cleaning off dirt, grime, and corrosion can reveal a real gem, but sometimes it only reveals something old and tired. It's worn, but is it worn out and no longer of value? I want to live my life closer to thee. It takes a critical and experienced eye to see the diamond in the rough, the antique worth a fortune. Cleaning up old things makes Antiques Roadshow always interesting. But just cleaning up may not be enough. In many cases, the item has to be restored so it functions. That's what Apostle John gets at in 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. The item to be restored is every person, and the restoration is so that a person functions properly. The great truth of Scripture is that you and I and every person needed to be restored to God. And he accomplished that in Jesus Christ. His incarnation and birth led to a perfect life in our place. His death and resurrection restored us to God. And Apostle John told us this great truth. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we are called children of God. In Jesus Christ, God has restored every believer in Christ to himself. You are now worth a fortune. Even so, those in Christ are engaged in an ongoing process. We continue every day to purify ourselves from sin. As a child of God, we turn from sin. We turn to Jesus and walk in his ways. Just like an old antique, our heart and mind and life need to be cleaned of the dirt and grime of our sins. Our dysfunctional attitudes and actions need the repair of the Spirit of God, changing our hearts, renewing our minds, leading us in the paths of righteousness. Through the love of the Father, live each day in purifying hope to be more like Christ. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, through your lavish love, I am your child now and forever. Enable me by your spirit to purify myself each day. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us. If you're seeking services for symptoms of mental illness, please talk to your primary doctor or a health professional. Don't have one? Consider one of the resources listed here to find help. And God's peace to you.